Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to my uh, Light Shiva Spotlight. It, it's finally time. Finally got him maxed out. Uh, he's got some uh, some nice stats. Very, very nice. Wait, let me, let me just find him. Alright, so I maxed out his life gems. His resistance isn't... I can't even talk. His resistance isn't that high. It's only it's only at 50, but I decided to put him on life set. Um, I probably have some better resistance life gems, but I can't remember who, who they're on. I think I kept some of them on, on Dark Cupid. Um... I kind of don't want to steal any of them. I don't have those like godly thirty percent resist rolls. Yeah, this one, this one is twenty-two. I, I should probably steal this one. Yeah, I think Dark Cupid's a little bit more important. It's all right. He doesn't need that much resist. It's it's fine. They, th those guys don't know my secret. All right, they don't they don't know that he has slightly lower resistance because no nobody actually hits him first. Um. Well, they might hit him first if I have no other threats, but I, I do have some other threats on my team, like Dark Miho and stuff, so they might actually kill their aggressors first. I know I would, but maybe they wouldn't. I don't know. I, he's pretty tanky, and I'm going to have an HP lead um, for PvP. But anyways, he has 20, he has bonus 25% um, HP or crit rate, and he has a shit ton of HP. Like, he has, he has an insane amount of HP. Uh, yeah, I went with I went with the triple life. Like it's it's kind of necessary because he just he just skills so well with HP with his second skill, and with his extremely high HP pool. So I decided to just put him on you know triple life set HP um, to make sure he deals a shit ton of damage. So we're gonna be testing him out in multiple areas. We're gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with tanking Golem's B10. I think I think that's. That's one of his best uses. And then the other is probably PvP. His best use is probably PvP defense. But I think solo tanking golems should be pretty nice. So what should I do? I'll I'll use my I'll do a test run. I'll I'll use like my sappers and stuff. Oh shit, I, I ungem my fire purse. Wait, we need to uh might need to regem fire purse with some some random gems. I haven't farmed golems in a in a while, so I kinda ungem my fire purse. Um Wait, does my water miho still have gems? No, they're 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 both gemless. It's kind of sad. Uh, let's let's go with some uh, some nice damage. Let's go with some uh, attack. Wait, do I have a crit rate valor for her? If I do, I'll use that one instead. I'll I'll put her on a crit rate set. All right, we have a bunch of attack valors. We have no crit rate valor. What the heck happened to my missing crit rate valor gem? Who took it? Who has my crit rate valor gem? One of you guys. Dang it. Who stole my crit rate valor gem? Alright, I give up. I give up. We're putting him on, on attack. Uh, we're putting her on attack. But the problem is, if I put her on attack, somebody else... Alright, I'm extremely confused. I, I can't even remember who has that gem. Um, I had one crit rate Valor. I think it's my Katito. I remember now. Yes. Oh, wait. I can't ungem my Katito. Alright. Uh, looks like you're going triple attack. And the... The... The, um, the Miho is doing, doing something else. Alright, we're, we're going to go with triple attack. And then I'll put the Miho on like intuition or something, I guess. Actually, wait, I could put it on Ruin. Do you have an attack gem, right? These are both pretty shitty, but this one's got 15% resist. This one's got a bit of a bonus attack. I'll use this one instead. Um, she really only needs the attack. These gems, these attacks gems are actually pretty shitty, but um, I upgraded them a long time ago. Like it was like when I first started the game. I got them to plus fifteen. We'll use we'll we'll put a we'll put a shitty one on her. She doesn't really need anything else. Yeah, we'll go we'll go with this like sixty something, and then this will give her a little bit of crit rate. So, um, this this should be good for B ten. I I I had them on siphon like a few days ago, and then I I kind of transfer my siphon gems over to to my gins. To, to kind of farm faster. Well, actually, not. I, I'm already farming the same speed, but I'm farming for like higher efficiency so they can get more hits. Um, 
All right, so I'm going with Miho, um, Purse, and Light Shiva Solo Tank. All right, this this should work very very well. Like this should be should be extremely stable. Dang, he's actually taking quite a lot of damage, but he's also healing like mad. Wait, that bee didn't die? I call hacks. Oh man, I, I miss having uh I miss having my sappers on siphon. They 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 farm this so fast. Alright, we should be killing this pretty fast. Actually, I could actually maybe put Light Shiva on Siphon. If I have some like nice resist on my HP siphon gems, that could also work. Yeah, you can definitely solo tank this pretty well. I'll try to land as many saps as I can, do as much damage. Sadly, Shiva doesn't have a full bar. All right, this—he's got to be one of the most stable tanks for B10. Like he's—he's he's not losing any HP at all, and like even if the other units die to to golems in the beginning, he could probably still solo this. Seems like a pretty nice unit to use. I I, I would actually use him instead of uh, because I I was actually running Light Succubus as a solo tank, but I think he might actually be better. Nice, I got an egg. Minute and thirty-three. Uh, not too bad. Not not too bad at all. All right, it's kind of shitty, but um, but you can't you can't compare it to like using using a siphon like using them on siphon. They they don't have any siphon right now. It's kind of it's a little bit sad. All right, so that's that's the first use. You can use them to solo tank um, B10. I think that's that's actually pretty good. The other I think the other really good use is just PvP. Um, unfortunately, I don't I'm not very high ranked in PvP, but these guys are all level sixty, so I guess I'll hit them first. And and yeah, that's it. Like, I, if I refresh, they everyone's gonna be like super low rank. So, I'll I'll, I'll just uh, I'll just do this. Let's, let's let's try using him with an HP lead. I think that'll be pretty nice. Where did he go? I wanted to use a full light team, like you know, for my for my guild uh, defense. Or my clan defense. I was using this. I was using like light succubus. Him. I put in. I put in light vic. Not this light vic. This light vic actually sucks for PvP. Uh, it's my other light vic. I was using this one, and then I put in. I remember I was putting in my light wall thing. Who doesn't have max gems, but I gemmed her pretty tanky. Like she has, she has a decent amount of HP and defense. I think it's double defense HP. So like mostly defense, but uh. Yeah, def not the best, but still pretty good. Because these these gems have quite a lot of resist. Like this one is thirty three, uh, this one is fifteen. This one this one's not that good. Um, wait, this one doesn't have any resist. All right, this gem's kind of sad, but I I maxed this out like a, quite a long time ago. So I was actually using this for defense um, with a hidden light Coco. So I was I actually uh, think I can show this off like a full light team. I can auto it to show like what my defense does. The, the good thing about having them on defense is if you have another unit with a lot of threat, like another light aggressor, they actually might go for the aggressor first because she, she actually is squishier than him. Uh, and she out also doesn't, you know, she, she has the aggression on the first skill, so she's actually more threatening like early on. He's only threatening when he gets his bar up. But he, like the, the good thing about the light Shiva is he, he's basically like a ticking time bomb. If you let him get his AoE off and you're running like a full dark attacker team, uh, he's just gonna wipe the whole entire enemy team, so that's actually one of his his primary uses. I think if I regen my light Coco, we'll have a very very good uh very good team. So much resist, but he he already has a full bar, so this is gonna do a shit ton of damage. 
So you basically like almost wiped everyone. And then it, it like everybody else got a full bar. She also had the light, light wall thing also has shock. So that's also very, very nice. And then she like they, they do their uh AoE nuke again and they just do a shit ton of damage. I think it's uh I think it's a really, really good defense. Like a full light defense. It's, it's quite threatening. Um I think one of the improvements I can make is do definitely like uh actually I can try I can try it out for this week. We'll uh we'll take these guys off. We'll go with the full light defense. I was running something like this. I was run this is my like second team for like uh clan defense. It's like full light. It's it's really nice. It's actually better to use in in PVP because at higher ranks when they're fighting you in like random battles, it's actually better to to have a team that's like that can counter the dark teams and this is definitely a team that can do that. Like if they're running like a full full dark attacker team, you you have a chance to win. Cuz the best course of action would be to kill the light vic first cuz she's she's highest threat. Basically, if you have like three dark attackers, you can kill her in one turn. But however, if you only have two, um, then you might not be able to kill her. Or maybe you have to send all four if the other two are like support units. But she also has, I also have the perfect HP lead on my light succubus, which gives 35%. Or is it 40? I think it was 35. 35%. Um, so, you know, she, she also has pretty high HP pool. It's very hard to kill her with, because uh, she's also on a... On a protection set, so she's she has a lot of damage damage mitigation. So it's very very hard for for um, people running like a full dark attack team to just straight out kill her unless they use like three dark attackers. And if they use three dark attackers and my light coco comes out, the light coco actually still does a lot of damage. Um, so they can't kill the coco with the remaining attacker. They can't do anything t to the rest of these guys for one turn. So we're gonna have like one turn, like the second turn, where they they just go in and do their. Uh, do their nukes and stuff and um there's a chance that the coco like combined with some other units might might do some damage to like you know one of their dark attackers i'm not too sure it's it's situational but anyways we're gonna we're gonna try to try to click auto and see how the ai works so the other good thing is my wall thing has a hundred percent armor break like she's a tanky unit with a hundred percent armor break uh, so if she lands armor break on one of the units it's pretty much dead in the next turn so this kind of counters like people running aggressors against my my comp. It's actually I think my my comp um, works a lot better for people like running like a lot of dark sea stars, mihos and stuff. Um, but if they're if they're running um, if they're running uh, like gatitos and monas, it might not be that good. Cause I don't have that much threat. Like succubus doesn't do do enough damage. I think if I could, I would actually switch out the wall thing and put in another aggressor. That actually could be better. Cause she. She does have threat with the armor break, but it's too slow. It's like one turn too slow. Because I have to armor break them and then kill them the next turn. So I'd rather have two aggressors just nuke and then see if uh, see if they're they can possibly kill kill one of them. So I might actually try to put like another light victoria or something um, instead. Cause I don't think the four of them, if they even if they focus on like dark attacker units, they can kill them. Like, like let's say let's say I send all three of these onto them, like without the armor break. Well, actually, they do have a chance to kill. He does have a bit of attack. He has two thousand four hundred base attack. So does the wall thing. There, there is actually a chance. Like if if uh, if their dark attackers are full full attack, and all three of them attack the same unit. There's a chance to straight out kill them, but that's that's very very rare. I think the thing about defense is you don't try to win every fight because it's it's impossible to win. Like it's mostly you're most of the time you're just gonna lose. Um, but it's all about creating that little bit of like you know unpredictable RNG that might get you a win. You know sometimes I think that's that's the most important thing for uh for building a PvP defense. Let's see if we can just we can shatter the shield. I 
Man, Battle Rush is so OP. <laughs> Battle Rush is insane. Yeah, I definitely need more threat. I think the Wild Fang is too slow. But having her actually counters aggressors that fight me. But she's just not as good against like the full Dark Nuker comps. And there's more Dark Nukers now. There's uh, there's the people that already have like Monas during Mona Month have Monas. And then uh, people that started playing during Gatito Month at least have one Gatito. And then, um, you know, last month there was the Dark Lat, who's also another Dark Attacker. And then now there's the... Uh, the dark, uh, dark Sarah. So, you know, she's also another dark attacker that has battle rush, which which is even stronger. So, it's it's gonna be a little bit hard to counter those comps. I think I should actually build to counter the attacker comps instead of the the aggressor comps because there's there's not that many people running aggressors. There's there's probably more people running dark nukers. So I think in order to do that, I would need to regen my other light vic and put her on like either a life or a protection set with like high resist and then put her in this slot. They'll be they'll actually be pretty good, but I can't use the same team in clan defense because there's no, I'm not allowed to use repeats in clan defense. Dang it! I should have I should have went for the Maris. Oh, I forgot. There's also the Mari. Yeah, the Mari is one of those units too. So, um, can't forget her. She's also another dark attacker, that has like, hunter or predator or something on second skill. Um. You know, not to mention the people that have like dark moon flowers, or like, you know, if they're if they're looks even more crazy, they have like dark purse. Can't really counter those actually. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. There's there's really no other use besides that. <laughs> like he's mostly for PvP, um, but he he's actually very very strong for like top tier PvP. If you look at the if you look at the uh, the top of the list right now. This guy's got two, two, uh, two Shivas. This is actually a really, really strong team. It's basically all morale boosters, and um, he's he's also got the nightmare with the resist lead. So he his his gems don't need to have that much resist, and then you just put them all on like pugilist, even if they're like shitty pugilist gems, and they'll they'll just stun the shit out of the enemy. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, what else can I use him for? Story mode farming. He's kind of shitty for story mode farming, to be honest. There's really no use. It's, it's just solo tanking golems B10 and and PvP mostly. Let's see if we got any uh, you know, other level 60 teams. Alright, we got this guy. He's level 54. I was thinking of running something like this. Or actually with the Coco. This could actually work really, really well. But I was thinking of you know putting putting the light vic in for this slot and then um, Coco has the hidden because Coco has very very low base uh, base defense, two thousand four hundred only, and then like light vics have a uh, you know pretty high defense and also pretty high HP. So she actually has a lot higher effective HP than the Coco, but the Coco does a lot more damage. So it's it's quite nice to have him as a hidden and also as an aggressor because he it's impossible to one shot him with just one dark monster. You need like multiple. And then I have no monster like left in the open that's like tanky enough for you to for the enemy to ever kill me with only two dark units. Um, even if they have one dark moonflower, I don't think they can do that. They probably need to have two dark moonflowers, and then um, and then they would need to have two more dark moonflowers to kill my Coco as well. Because I don't think I don't think uh, two dark monas can kill kill the Coco, especially with it with the HP lead. Unfortunately, my resist isn't that good. Like, they they only have, like, 50-something percent resist. Which is kind of shitty. I guess it's fine. Because most Dark Attackers don't have a lot of debuff. And if they're running debuffers, then... Then I think I can out-sustain them. Probably. Hopefully. I'm trying to auto a team with water purse. It's it it's pretty retarded. Now that I think about it. Oh my god, they sh sealed my Shiva. What the fuck? I don't even know what the uh <laughs> what Omyoji does. Alright, that's it, that's it. We're killing this purse. This is this is retarded. 
She needs to die. This is this has gone on too long. Uh the pro see see the problem with running this team? Like if I was running the wild thing, I would have armor broken somebody and killed them already. So I think I think the armor break might be needed, because if people ever run like a bruiser comp against me, there's no way I can win without without the armor break. Cause they would just out sustain me. If they bring one passive healer, they just completely out sustain me and there's nothing I can do. Guess we'll kill this C Star. And then they'll have no threat. The moment they stop stealing my ass. You know what I should do? I should split up my Dark Sea Star gems, give them to someone else. Um, put two units on Pugilist with about like 60% resist or 50 something percent resist. Run Wood Nightmare lead and then win game. I think that actually might be the best defense team, but it's it's not going to be good for uh for clan PVP. Actually, wait, no, for clan PVP, I can just run uh I can just run Miho lead. That actually might be better. Alright, the Wildfang team is probably better against Bruisers. Well, not probably, like, definitely better against Bruisers. Alright, that was, uh... That was fun. Well, that's pretty much it. Um, there's one more all full sixty team. Like, all right, all right. Let's 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 run the wild wild thing. Um, Cause they have a they have a passive healer. So if they like say for example they come at me and in offense with a team like this, I would I would pretty much get wrecked. But if I have an armor breaker, like the AI might be smart enough to to actually kill something. It might be a good idea to keep the wall thing in, actually. Oh shit. They broke- their armor broke me. Oh god, what the fuck? Hmm. The wall thing's not tanky enough. She needs a HP gem, not not a not a shitty defense gem. Hmm. This ain't looking too good. It's looking very, very bad. Why am I trying to kill the Granitus? His hidden monster hasn't even come out yet. All right, let's let's actually kill this uh kill this purse or or kill the Anu or something. I don't know. I might still be able to win. I just gotta believe. Damn it! His Anu armor broke my squishiest unit that was on gemmed on double defense, and she just died in one turn. That was so sad. All right, we'll, we'll call it a draw. All right, we'll call this a draw. It was a it was a close fight, but I, I guess I guess I guess you ain't man enough. All right, you <laughs> I guess you just ain't man enough for me. Um, yeah, I, 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 I just I'm I'm done. All right, I'm done. I'm done. That, that's enough. That's enough. Uh, let's do some summons. I actually do have some summons that I wanted to do with you guys. I've been waiting. Now, you know what? What actually really, really excited me is uh, I, I did bingo today, and look at this. Oh shit! Wait, a day already passed. I forgot. But anyways, I did bingo yesterday, and I actually got the light dark egg. So I, I have two light dark eggs to summon. One from the weekly reward. I actually lost like rank one in the end, which is really, really good because he can take the shitty legendary egg. I'll take a chance for a light dark nat five. All right. Um, no, it's probably going to come out as a Cosmo. But anyways, we're going to just pop these and then, you know, do some rebirth. And hopefully something good comes out of it. Oh, what? 
I know you can summon four stars from those. That was uh this one Alright, that, that egg used up used up my luck. I should have summoned from the light dark egg. Would have would have pulled a dark purse or some shit. All right, would you guys believe me if that if I say they nerfed the rates of the light dark eggs? Think about it. Everyone that started playing early got got all their light dark nat fives back in the day, but now you only get cosmos. I'd rather get Colts. If I if I get Colts, I can build a second Dark Colt. And that'll actually be really, really good for Titans. Because Colt is like a single target nuker with uh with armor break, so it's it's, it's actually very nice. Oh dang, this all these eggs, they used up all my luck. Alright, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hope for uh hope for something good. At least please Colt at least. Colt Colt Oh my god, it's a shitty pen pen. Uh This is the bingo egg. I'll take the wolf. It'll it'll work. Eventually I'll have enough Shivas to make like a second light Shiva and then I'll I'll be like that whale guy and uh that's rank one right now. Eventually, one day. Now there's one last thing I wanted to summon, um, and that is I actually have enough to do a Siegfried summon. So we're gonna see which color comes out. If it's the red one, I'll, I'll be really excited because I can start building it. I can make it like evil two plus two. I'm I'm willing to sacrifice my other water ones to to make the uh, the red one like you know evil three. Um, definitely worth it. It can it can it can definitely speed up my farm and stuff. So let's see if I uh, if I get anything good. Uh, please, man, they should just let us choose. They should just let us choose which one comes out of the egg. What's it gonna be? Which color? Please, red, red variant, red one. Variant, red one. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh man, what gem sauces do you have? Oh, two score. Not, not, not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, let me, let me see. Hmm. All right, I better start working harder in clan battles. Man, this 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 thing is gonna be beast. All right, this thing is gonna be a beast. Um, let's see, I have uh, I have one attack left over, but I also have some gems that aren't aren't really used. I mean, that one's. Yeah, I just have to steal something from this this third gen. I'll probably build a Siegfried first and not a third gen. I'll just give this set to him. Uh, it's triple. It's attack, attack, attack. Do I have enough Gleams? I have three Fire Ones, enough to yield to the Water One. If I use the Holy Gleam, plus the... Uh, if I do TOC... Um... I can t I can make him evil two plus two, which actually might might already be good enough for farming because he could he could definitely farm pretty damn fast being evil two plus two. His attack would be really high. It would be like I don't I don't I don't exactly know how high it should it should be pretty damn high. Cause at evil three he has four k right. At evil two he has like three point two. So if I make him evil two plus two, he should be, he should at least have like three thousand five hundred, which would which would be more than a, the dark Sierra. Um, which actually might make him better for a triple attack build. If it was a crit rate double attack build with a crit lead, then the dark Sierra is probably better because she has a hundred percent crit damage. Um. Wait, wait, wait. I can summon the Gleam for this week, right? I didn't summon the Gleam yet for this week. 
Yes, I didn't summon the Gleam yet, but I also need to do enough battles. I can summon a second Water one, use the Holy Gleam on the Water, and then use the three Fire Gleams on him. And then, uh... Yes, and then he'll be evil 2, and then this these these ones I can get to evil 2 as well, and I can make it evil make him evil 2 plus 2. That might be a pretty good idea. Yeah, and then I can max out that siphon set, and then he's gonna be a beast. Alright. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a very, very good plan. Um So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm actually really happy. I'm I'm really happy about the Siegfried summon. Good luck on your uh, Sierra farming. Uh, hopefully you guys do well. And I think the best... I, I haven't been getting a lot of uh, dungeons lately, but I've been getting... Or not dungeons. I'm, I haven't been getting a lot of uh, captures for Sierras lately. But I've actually... Like, who has the most Sierras? Like, this guy's got five. Like, look, look at this, this shit. It's got six. Like, the week just refreshed. <laughs> This guy's got six, and then, uh, yeah, I'm not even here. That's fine. Um, but yeah, just good luck on your, on your captures. Um, and I think the, the best way is actually to get them in these dungeons. It's much easier to get them here than it is to actually cash them. So I think, I think if you try to get some active friends, it'll be really, really nice. Um, I have a lot of people on my Discord that are like pretty active. They're always playing and stuff and always chatting there. So if you if you want to fill up your friend list with like active people, you can uh, you can come on my Discord and ask. There's a there's a link below in the uh, description. I think that would be a pretty good place to ask if you want some active friends. Because if you guys don't, didn't know, um, secret dungeons come from your friends. Like these, the, is this discovered by who? So um, if you're like really new, you have no idea. Um, a really good way to get these zeros isn't actually to cash them. I, I realize that it's actually much harder to cash them, but getting getting the secret dungeon to spawn is a lot easier if you have 50 friends that are like actively farming constantly. So, just uh, just another another little tip um, to help you guys, I guess, farm a little bit more. But anyways, I'm I'm gonna go back to farming now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.